Community Gardens presents How to Make a Wicking Garden Bed Out of Stuff I Found on Curbs Guitar playing is by my homie J.P. Jennings This is what we're going to make A self-watering raised garden bed That will only need watering every two weeks or so Maybe longer This is based off a food is free video I saw a few weeks ago I decided to use this old plastic turtle sandbox for my bed because turtles are awesome and because there's already enough of these thick plastic toys in the landfill. Now right off rip, right off rip. I noticed the bottom of my turtle was cracked, so I hot glued the plastic patch over it. Next I used the bottom of a wicker chair to make walls for my raised bed. I poked some holes in the side of the plastic turtle and used some coat hangers to fasten it on. I measured the size of my turtle and then dug out a flat spot for it to sit on and made sure that it was level so that the water stays distributedly evenly. I used some clear plastic sheeting to make a watertight barrier inside my raised bed and then used some twine to hold down that clear plastic. I folded some old tarp in half and began wrapping it around the outside of my raised bed, folding down the top inside the bed. Then I spent a few hours collecting rocks and broken bricks and broken pots to put in the bottom of my raised bed. It was exhausting. After nap, I added, I added the rocks in. I drilled some holes in a piece of PVC pipe to act as an overflow drain and laid the drain pipe on top of the rocks with the holes facing down. I pushed a wider PVC pipe into the rocks a few inches that will stick out upward above the dirt level. That will be my fill pipe. The drain pipe, with the holes in it, must be angled so that the water will drain out. So I stuck a few rocks under one end, and after that I cut a small split in the, sp I cut a small split in the plastic sheet and tarp for my drain to stick out of. <laughs> Sorry guys. I hot glued around the plastic sheeting and the tarp where my drain pipe comes out to make sure the water drains out where I wanted it to. Then I measured a cut and cut a square of an old trampoline top to fit inside my raised bed. You can use burlap sacks or even sheets if you want. I put the trampoline material in the bed and added another small piece behind it, behind my fill pipe, so that dirt didn't sneak down into my rocks over time. I collected some of my already finished compost dirt and topped it off on, on top of the trampoline material. Now I can pour water into my fill pipe and the excess water, or the rain, will then pour out of the drain pipe and then whatever I decide to plant in my raised bed will wick up the water slowly and from the roots upward, ensuring the proper amount of water throughout the soil. So now I can water less often or even leave town for two to three weeks and know my plants will be doing great. Hey, if you found this video helpful or informative, please help us out and share this video so more people can make wicking beds this growing season. Thanks for watching. Check it out. Ha, 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 ha.